Lieutenant Colonel Todd Clark was killed in Afghanistan last June. The Albany native and Purple Heart recipient was serving his fourth tour overseas. On his third tour, he was severely injured by an IED, but still went back. Today, UAlbany's home football game with Delaware was named the Todd Clark Memorial Game. In Clark's memory, and in conjunction with the Wounded Warriors Project, all servicemen and service women, active or retired, got into the game free of charge. UAlbany will certainly be in the postseason conversation if they can win the remaining games on their schedule, but this will be a tough one. The Blue Hens have won six national championships, and this West Hill touchdown run in the third quarter gave Delaware a two-touchdown lead. The Blue Hens would add a field goal in the fourth quarter. But the Great Danes rallied on this combination. Will Fiaki to wide receiver Josh Gintarek, the freshman out of Maryland, caught six balls for 118 yards and two fourth quarter scores. With under a minute to play in the game, you Albany closed within three points. But to have a chance, they would need to recover the onside kick. Here it is. And they do recover. But there's a flag. Michael Nicastro, who recovered the kick, was called for an illegal block before the mandatory 10 yards. A very unusual call that New Albany coach Greg Gattuso clearly did not agree with. The Danes re-kicked. Delaware would fall on the football, and New Albany loses by a field goal. It was a strange call and a strange finish that left the Danes feeling robbed and confused. I got an explanation. I did that he blocked somebody, but there's, there's clearly no block on it. And they talked about three different things before they settled on a block, so I'm not really sure. I was very confused by what was going on in there, and, and I believe they were a little confused. The Danes fall to 6-4 and four on the season. Up next at 7th-ranked Villanova on Saturday night.